against James Hybens in the ruck. So they're going to start the second semi-final. Bell Post Hill and Inverlee here at the Gordon Tafe Oval. It will be James Hybens, Liam Merrick. And goes up Merrick over the top. The ball comes free. Goes through the middle. James, the Whitley medalist, gets it towards centre half forward. Over the back, handball came out quickly. Baxter tried to get it towards Grundle. Now Best running across half back, picks it up. Now run through centre wing. Oh, right foot kick wide. I think too wide there. Manganelli, did he keep it in? I can't. Don't, I don't think so because he marked it right next to the He's side got post it. there. So Bell Post still will take the free kick. Over the top, the kick towards Fantella, but it's chopped off. Hutchinson takes it centre wing. Goes with a low kick towards a rusty Gerard at uh, half forward. Got the handball away under pressure. Now Bell Post Hill coming at James. Had some support as well. Can they pick it up? They can. Rabus runs back towards half back. Off a step. Urquhart goes wide. I think you want the safety of the banjo line. Hutch is already asking for it. And I think he might get it. He will. Oh, look at that. Umpire straight over. Perfect. Right in front of the uh, scoreboard. He's, and he's come up the ground now. But I reckon Barton didn't go to centre half forward. I reckon he went deep to full forward. He did. In the lead, we'll have the free kick. Centre wing out of side. Hutchinson's got the footy. Chips the ball towards half four. The lead on. Bo McNamara in front. Takes the mark for Bell Post Hill. He's not going to start doing this again, is he, Macca? I don't know. Jeez. So, ball to Barlow. Handball over the top towards Fantella. Over the shoulder, said the umpire. So, the free kick will come back to Jake Barlow at half back. Chips the ball back to McNamara. Now he wants to switch the play. They go across the ground to Lima. Got plenty of room. Goes to half back. Rabbis takes the mark. He can play on now. Oh, goes through centre wing. Two bounces. Muir too comes far. At him. Good tackle. Drop the footy. And he had Flacavetto by himself on centre wing. He yeah. should have given him the football and he didn't. And now they might pay. Inverley have the free kick. Muir at, at centre wing. Goes towards Grundle. Off the back of the pack. Numbers with the Panthers. Handball from Fantella was chopped off. Now comes to Mick Gros. Goes with a left foot kick to the pocket. Seddon comes out at pace. Close to the boundary line. 50 out. Doesn't pick it up the first time. Addy. And did he kick it out of bounds on the full? The umpire said no. That will be a boundary throw in. 50 out from the Inverley goal. Yet to score either side. Two minutes played. First term. Ball to be thrown back in the forward <laughs> pocket. Ruckman to go at it down there. Again, it comes out the back and uh, kicked off the ground there by Jones. Ma runs onto it, but the umpire's pulled out a free kick here. I'm not too sure where it is. Holding decision. It's going in Belize way, going to Gerard. Was off the ball. So he's going to be taking the free kick. And he's in range because he's inside 50. Tell you what, he's in range, but it'll take a hell of a kick from there. I... Rusty Gerard to uh, open up the scoring possibly for Inverley here. Comes in. Kicks a goal. Got the nice white boots on Rusty and he's uh, doing right. straight through the middle. Got his first goal of the afternoon and Inverley have their first. You're right there. And? Yeah, I'm just... Uh, I'm just 17, yeah, Rusty. No, that's right. I'm just thinking I've got the names on the wrong side, but I've got them right, so... <laughs> Ryan Gerard with one, and in Belie with one, we've gone three minutes first quarter, but we're going to turn the first quarter scoreboard. Oh, I've got nothing to say. They're ready to bounce the ball now, you bloody idiot. <laughs> oh, I just looked down. I thought, that doesn't look right, but it does. That's a beautiful kick because for a right footer, you've got that natural swing. He hasn't got that on the left boot, and it's a, makes it a much, much harder kick to, to kick. And I tell you what, it was a beautiful kick, and the finish was none of this run around and all that stuff that these Geelong plugs started straight through the middle. That's how you want to kick them. Back to the middle, Hybens and Merrick. Pine throws the ball in the air. Both get a hand to it too. Pulls towards Yates, got the handball to Matty James. Runs away from Grundle, handballs it back. And they go with the kick towards half forward. Getting back there, good mark, Bowman. Takes the mark. Oh, that's 50. Oh, it should have been. That's too. 50. Podner ran through the mark, but the umpire said no. So Manganelli takes the mark. Still at half back. Best runs past, but he goes with a kick instead towards Hypens. The big fella goes up. Second grab. Takes the mark in front of Merrick. Still in centre wing. Plays on now. Goes towards half forward. Seddon comes out on a lead. Can't take it with him. McNamara's there. In fact, it was Burke coming out there. Now Grundle's got it. Handballs it to Jones. Runs through centre half forward. Right foot kick. Misses it to the left-hand side and through for one behind. To Chris Jones. So they are 1-1-7 now to Hawks. Lead the Panthers yet to score. We played five minutes in the first term. So line with kicking in duties from full back goes out wide. Barden from full forward is now up on the half back line, taking the mark. 
De Blasio stands the mark on him. Just looking to bring the ball towards centre wing now. Goes wide. and Probably that's just a fraction yeah. too wide, Timmy Barton. That's gone out of bounds on the full free kick to Inverley and Baxter. So forward of centre wing for the Inverley side. And they kick with the breeze in the first quarter. He goes back towards centre forward. Hutchison nearly had the mark. Jade's got tackled out of his hands. Handball from Lima gives good. Went to James. Put him under a bit of pressure. Need to get the handball. Oh. Ends up in the hands of Jones. Jones back to uh, Rick Gros. Mick, he got a small kick along the ground. Didn't travel too far. But now there's a free kick being given for a high tackle. Umpire says it's going to go back. The recipient will be Willie Urquhart. And he will take the kick and go out wide to James in the back pocket. Goes further around the boundary line. It was low and flat to Barton. Just inside the field of play. Handball goes back inside to McNamara. Gets around one. Got the handball away. Back towards centre wing. And again, this time Dalton Grundle's there. Puts a bit of pressure on. They hold the ball up. Umpire sits back in circles. Umpire had, we'll see it as we did. No prior opportunity there. And he will now take the ball. And a ball up to take place on centre wing. Look, they've changed it pretty quick. But not to pressure the point. But Barton, it's got to be on the, on the back line against the wind, surely. So the ball thrown up, and this time Jones doing the ruck work. Hyman's has pushed forward. James is trying to win possession of the ball. Hutchison's with him. He picks it up. Looks good on the left boot. Swings back in low and flat. That was a great kick. Mark has been taken there by Mick Gross just outside forward 50. He goes short. Lead up player out the back. Seddon, where well, he did nicely there. Gets the ball. Kicks it round the body. And Whoa. through for a minor score. Lucky camp. So 1-2 now in the league. And they lead Bell Post Hill are yet to score. And just ticking over towards six and a half minutes, first quarter. Back to the entertainment centre, first quarter scoreboard. So Lima, the footy at fullback for the Panthers, as is most of the time of the case. Looking to go to the outer side. He just chips the ball short. It's okay. McNamara takes the mark. Still inside, defensive 50. He chips the ball as well over the top. Lima followed it up, took another mark. Still inside 50. Drives it long towards centre wing. No mark taken. Merrick comes from behind. Hawks over the top of it. Can they get the footy out though? That's the thing they can. They draw it towards Best who picks it up. Handballs it inboard to Grundle. 60 out from goal. Measures it towards full four, centre half forward. Gerard can't take it. Urquhart's got the job on him. Wheels the handball out, and they go quickly from half back towards centre wing. Podner's got a couple. He made the well uh, contest and did well. Flagavento followed it up. Handball was pretty hot to Yates. He dropped the footy. Comes back at it, Podner. Dan Gros is there as well. Fantella stood over the top of the football. Handballed it out. Board was okay. Now they go with the right foot kick out wide. The safety of the boundary line might be there for Page. Can he get it? Filet comes out. He sees it over. And it will be a boundary throw in. Right half forward for the Panthers. First time into attack. Jones, Merrick, did you throw in? Jones in front, got it down. Oh, Hutchinson put half a tackle on without the ball in there. Fantella's hand, uh, hand across, Manganelli came at pace, didn't take it. Rabbis through the pack as well. Oh, he played for a bit of a free kick and got it too, Tane Rabbis. He went through without the footy. Got it though, just inside the centre square. Short little kick, basically takes it. Still inside the centre square. So now he's called to play on. He chips the ball to Fantella out wide. 65 from goal. He measures it towards Timmy Barton. He can't take the diving mark. Now Douglas played for a free kick and got one. Dropped the head Joel Selwood style and got it. Another, another milky. Another milky base. So he's got the ball 50 out from goal. Goes with the right foot kick in towards the lead. That's way too easy from Inverley's defence because Jake Barlow came out and said Merry Christmas. Took the mark uncontested and will shoot for goal from 35 out. Slight angle. I'll ask him later. Is it his birthday today? Yeah, it must be. Because, gee, they just never went with him, did they? There was just miscommunication between the defenders. He's yours, he's yours, he's yours. And he's in the end, he was nobody's. So Jake Barlow coming in. Right foot kick. Goal umpire goes across the face of goal and he's missed. Through four. One behind, the first score of the afternoon for the Panthers. They are one behind. Inverley 1 2 8. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard. Nine and a half played. It's not a huge breeze, but when you get a chance to kick one against it, you've got to make them count. 
So Baxter straight up the middle of the ground, goes towards uh, me, and over the back it comes, picked up by Mick Gross, handball outside, Best on the run, has Mays in support, Merrick's with him, Best takes him on, get the handball out in front of himself, wasn't too sure where else he was going to go, try to kick it out of McNamara's hands, he's been able to keep possession, and he won't win possession of the ball, as McNamara will see the ball over the boundary line, so we'll have a throw in for of centre wing for the Inverleigh side. You know what his mistake was there? He's handballed it like a torpedo. If you're going to handball it to yourself, handball it so it bounces back to yourself. He was never going to collect that on the bounce. So thrown back in by the umpire. This time Jones over the back, taps it to the front of the contest, has another go at it, ends up in the hands of Logue on the left boot, goes long back into the forward line. Addy there. Oh, set, oh he's been uh, pushed. He has. Umpire, how he's set. it? Nah. It's okay. And Here's the body. We'll go to Seddon. Seddon. And he will go back and kick for goal. Gee, you well, don't, all right, you don't see many players take a mark like that on Cam Addy with using the body strength. You don't see that very often at all. So Seddon comes in from about 25, kicks a goal. Looks okay off the boots. Going to hold its line and it will be a goal. So Inverlee move to 2-2 two, two now. They lead Bell Post Hill on one solitary goal. And we have ticked over 10 and a half, nearly 11 minutes in this first quarter. I don't know, I don't know if I'd like to be a fullback. When you're playing against Inverlee, you get the best full forward we've seen for a long time in Jack Kennedy Hunt. All of a sudden, he goes down injured, and they stick Simon Seddon up there, who's as good a player as he is. He's just a wonderful player. I just about agree with you for once in my life. I think he could be the best player on a comp on his day, no, Seddon, without a doubt. Talking to me, sorry. Without a doubt. He's, he's yeah. just a fantastic player. I, I reckon he's wasted deep down in forward line, but with Jack Kennedy Hunt not there... Mm. I suppose that's the ideal spot for him, especially if he kicks six or seven. He's back in the middle now. Yeah. It'll be interesting to see Russell Douglas in the middle. So he's a priest medalist for Sunshine in 2007, Grubby. Sunshine YC's, is it? Barton yeah. gets it down. Off the uh, centre wing was Muir. Goes in 50 with the kick. Coming out, Costello just on the ground. Etridge is there as well. And Etridge picks it up, gets wrapped up. Oh, that's dropping the footy. He tried to get it away and couldn't do so. Advantage paid. So Baxter runs across half back, goes towards Too the middle high. of the ground. Too high. Too it. Read it better. Played on quickly. Kicks it back towards half forward. Coming out. No mark taken. Podner gets the little right foot kick in. The skimming pass. Can't take the mark though. File it. Handball on the up. Podner got it in there. Best. Wraps him up. And the umpire will come in and ball it up. At uh, 48 out from the Bell Post Hill goal. Right half forward. Jones and Barton to do the ruck work for their respective teams. Umpire throws the ball in the air. Jones gets it down. Gerard's kick was smothered by Barton. Followed up by James. Kicked it off the ground. Back towards the top of the 10 square. Filer's handball over the top. Jones. Oh, that was a drop kick. That's beautiful. a beautiful to pass. Mick Grolls. And he chips it out on the uh, air board to Seddon, who's got an absolute paddock to run into if it sits for him. And it will on centre wing. And he can play now with the right foot kick and go towards Burke over the back. Addy coming out quickly. Ball around the corner was pretty good from Hutchinson. Over the top, though, but uh, Bell Post will read it the better. And they break free, and it's Gray. Goes into the middle. They've got a bit of space now. Big Timmy with one leg goes nicely. Gives it away to James, the Whitley medalist. He gets a bit of time and space and goes to the right foot kick towards Etridge. Got three on him. Jesus, they all muck it up. It. Podner kicks a goal from the, stop, from the front of the pack, does he? It runs oh. across the face of goal. And three for one behind to Blake Podner. So they go to two behinds now. The Panthers in the league, 2 2 14. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard, 13 and a half played. Baxter again doing the kicking in. De Blasio is just sneaking onto the ground, asking for it to come long, and that's the direction he goes in. Like a Bendo in front, ball from behind. And 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 De Blasio, no, called play on, says Ooh. the umpire. And probably rightly so, the umpire... Why probably rightly so? Well, the th hands on it from the blokes in front. No, nah, it's a mark and contest. No, nah, we'll go back to video. You want to check it out? That's a mark Get every day of the week no. in a pack. In a pack it is. No not worry about that. Not third in line. Maybe you're standing in front. You might be. Ball yeah, out the back. Picked anyone. up by Grozdanowski. Goes into the middle of the ground. Hyman leads up to the ball. Uh, doesn't take possession of it. Manganelli does nicely on the left boot. Goes into the forward line. Burke comes up and he takes the mark in front of McNamara. Goes back with a hand into the hands of Gerard and he looks up. He goes towards the uh, top of the square. Ball gets oh. out the back. And it was Burke there. This is Jason. He tries to... Uh, Keep the ball in possession. He tapped it back nicely. Went back towards Mays. The support comes from Bell Post Hill. It was Gray. Over the top he goes. Holds Fiend. Back into the middle of the ground. Goes towards Yates. He is up and he will take the mark. Yes, he does. So Yates now with the ball. Just in the defensive side of centre for the Bell Post Hill side. 
Just looking at his options, a little short kick sideways. Well, dangerous kick wasn't good, but he ends up with the ball back. And again, sideways again. They've got some outlet numbers out this side of the ground, and we're talking about the club room side. And it's with Lyman now. He can go short to Basley, who leads up, and he will take the mark on centre wing. So Basley now with the football. Back into the middle he goes. Barton pushing up. Takes the mark, and he will also go and go quickly into the half-forward line, going towards the uh, mark of Barlow. And this time Barlow has the mark just outside. That's the mark, is it? That was. No one else touched it. Ball goes into Foles. That was a dangerous kick, and it was shown that way because Sedden has taken the mark, and away he goes. Sedden, long kick, going back towards the half-forward line. Gray's there, coming out is Burke, takes possession of the ball. Good tackle. Great Gray. tackle. Uh, sorry, it was Ma that got him in the tackle. Ball comes out to Hybens. Hybens gives the ball back to Gerard. No options further afield. Takes him on. One candy. Went the second time, but then look back inside. Good kick. Mark has been taken, and Burke will go back and shoot for goal. So Jason Burke from, uh, I reckon, just inside the 50. Can go back and shoot for goal. That's the approach now. Kicked 21 goals this season from his eight games. So loads up from that position with a poor kick off the boot and wobbles through for a minor score. In the lead now to 2-3. And Bell Post on two behind. 16 minutes gone. First quarter, Buckley's Entertainment Centre. First quarter scoreboard. Lima kicks it in quickly. Gets it in the pocket. Barton takes the mark. He's got Yates short. He's got Flacavendo short as well. Now he's got Barlow leading for him long. He thought about the short kick. Then he does go long to Barlow. Comes out. Baxter behind him. At the front. Gerard gets it back towards Baxter. Tapped it on. Douglas. Handball. Out to James. A little bit of candy. Held it up. Chipped the ball over the top. Dangerous kick. And very dangerous kick in the end because Burke came out and took the mark. Played for 50. Didn't get it. Jason Burke. He'll take it left half forward. Holzvine stands the mark. Worth a try, though. Yeah, it was worth oh, Well, you might as well. Goes to the right foot kick. Top of the square coming out. Oh, way too He's easy. Got it. Three Bell Post Hill players on him as well. Addy was one of them. Ma was the other. And Mick Gros came out and took the mark. Well, he had the front position. And that's did. where you got to be. So he'll shoot for goal from probably about uh, 45 once he gets going. Directly in front, northern end of the ground. Comes in, Mick Grozdanowski. Right foot kick, pretty good. Umpire does not move. So his first of the afternoon is the third for Inverley. They're 3 3 21. They lead Bell Post Hill. Two behinds, Buckley's Entertainment Centre, first quarter scoreboard. Seven and a half minutes played. Well, obviously, they've looked the better side at the moment. They've got all the possession, they're getting plenty of ball up in their four line. 3-3, three, three, I suppose that's pretty good. It's better than 1-5 one, one, like they've been kicking. I've got a question, Smitty. A lot of, a lot of clubs haven't got they're, they've only got the one Ruckman. This bloke, Jones, would have to be the best second Ruckman in the competition by a 1,000 miles, I reckon, and that really helps the Hawks, I reckon. Jimmy Hobbs would really wishing he was number one Ruckman. He could play second fiddle and just be a Ruck Rover. Well, he would do that too <laughs> if he had the chance. Don't he, worry. He, he would love it. Don't worry. So the ball back in the middle this time. we got Hyman's and also Barton. Barton taps the ball down. Barlow takes it. Was taken Free without kick. the third ball. Handball goes over Jesus. the top. Yates just put boot to ball and then went back after it. Picked up by Costello. Drives the ball into their forward line. Ettridge had one go at it. Ball comes off the buck. Holtz been read that nice. Kicks towards goal, and he has got his first goal of the afternoon. And also, Bell Post Hill. They're now one goal, two, and they bleed. Sorry, trailing the lead on 3 3. Buckley's in the centre. First quarter scoreboard, 18 minutes gone. It, that's where the Bell Post Hill four line function the best. When you get the ball in quick and put the defenders under pressure, we know we've got Etridge down there, and Cozzy's pretty good. But Holstein probably played his best football. I don't mean to have a go at him, but he's probably played his best football a couple of years ago, but he's still a dangerous little bugger, and he's still got that off-the-mark pace, and he went in and kicked a beautiful goal and put him back in it. So back to the middle. Hybens, Barton having a run in the ruck now for Bell Post Hill. Hybens gets it down. Gerard just dropped the footy. Umpire said yes, he did. Bell Post Hill free kick. Caleb Basley with it. Got Lima laterally, goes in that direction towards halfback. He's got 45 metres to give it away to James, who runs past. They're just setting it up now. He's got uh, Gray, who just half shepherds for him. Then the kick was horrific inside towards Barlow. Filet comes across as well. Can he pick it up? Just. He gets the handball away, only as far as Douglas. Off a left foot into the pocket. Down the ground, down the free ground. kick. 
Robbie Logue late there. And a free kick to Bell Post Hill. Deep into attack. Etridge yeah. take the ball. Yeah. <laughs> Etridge or Podner? I thought it was Etridge. Yeah, it was Etridge. <laughs> That's what I'd be having it with. Holsey gave him the ball back, <laughs> even if it was Podner's. So, Jaden Etridge has got the ball in the right forward pocket. Only about 20 metres out. 45 degree angle. And a chance for the Panthers second in a minute. Comes in. Eight missed. Brought it back with the breeze and missed. Three for one behind. So one three nine. Bell post hill. Trailing Belize three three twenty one. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard. Twenty minutes played. I tell you what, there was almost nothing in that. When he grabs a bloke and he just swung him after he kicked it. He took a bit of a dive, made sure the umpire seen it. But I say this every week. Yep, there wasn't much in it. But don't do it. I've never seen Robbie Logue do that in my life. Why would he do that? Why would you just touch him and bring him to the ground? It, discipline wins finals, and you've just got to not do that. So backs now with the ball at the full-back position. He's going to go far side of the ground. Nice kick, outside 50, almost gets towards centre wing. Going back, Mark was not taken. Picked up there by Seddon out of the contest. Got the handball away. It's uh, tapped back for uh, Dan Gros off the contest. Picks it up nicely. Goes into their half-forward line, lending up Burke. A ball bounces over his head, so Bell Post Hill now with an opportunity through Addy back into the middle. Some of these blokes aren't kicking this ball too well, but it's uh, got the desired effect. It hits uh, the middle of the ground. That was well done by Mick Gros. He's created an opportunity for his teammates to get back. Picked up by Basley. Out the back he goes to Gray. Gray across the ground. And there's that man again, Shane Limer, out here by himself. He's uh, found a lot of space this side of the ground early in the contest. Podner leads up at him. Muir's also there. Still looking to uh, see where he's going to go. Don't give it to Holzfein because he don't think he wanted it too much. Cations is with him. Ball and Holzfein kept it in the front of him, but uh, Ball now runs over the boundary line and is going to be thrown back in. Forward of centre wing for Bell Post Hill. Just saw Jason Burke walk past here. You wouldn't want to run into him, into him in the dark alley, would you? Hey, he looks a mean looking bugger. <laughs> Ball thrown back in. Hyman's front position. He pushes uh, Larrick away, but he does get the hand on the ball. Hutchison left the ball behind. Kicked off the ground there by Best. There's a free kick being given. And it's going to go to Basley. So Basley now with the ball. Next kick will land inside 50. Goes towards Etridge. Good kick out in front. Had first grow at it. Doesn't take clean possession. Costello put it to ball, boot to ball. And went back, and Barlow now trying to win possession. Taps it out. It's going to be Grozdanovsky who's going to merge with the ball, although Pip Best hops in his road, and it's been held up in there now. Umpire is now going to circle and come in and take possession of the ball. It's about 10 metres inside their forward 50. I should have got this umpire today. I had about a 20-minute chat with him before the game. He's a ripping bloke. He's a really nice fella. So thrown up by the umpire. Inside 50, we said. Merrick taps the ball down again. Holes fiend over the top of it, but uh, Ball's not going to come out this time. Again, the umpire back in to repeat what he has just done. The interesting thing here today, boys, is what time will this siren go? Yeah. yeah. Hey? yeah. A lot of controversy yeah. last week. <laughs> Ball to be thrown up now by the umpire inside forward 50. Ivans and also Merrick. Merrick gets the ball down. Dan Gros out of the contest, gets the handball away to Mays. Picked up by James, gets in and out of the contest. Well, did a circle, then got the boot to ball. It's going to go towards Etridge, couldn't hang on to it. Picked up by Page, got the handball to Etridge, dribbled along the ground. Oh, through for another minor score. One goal, four to the Bell Post Hillside. 3-3 three, three in the lead, 23 and a half gone. First quarter, Buckley's Entertainment Centre, first quarter scoreboard. So best with the footy at full back. Goes into the pocket. <laughs> Dangerous kick to Seddon. Got a bit of time now, though. Basically went past the footy. Goes from defensive 50, out towards centre wing. McNamara leads in the race of the football. Got a boot to it, close to the boundary line in front of Grundle. And we'll have a throw in. Centre wing out of side. So, ruck contest might be Meehan, by the looks of it. Up against Ma. Both Ruckman switching at that stage, so couldn't get over there. Martin Meehan gets it down. James, or oh, the don't argue, but got the handball out. The chip ball towards Merrick, who goes up. Oh, at the back, Dan Gros couldn't Should've take it. it. Jones was a good tackle. Handball back towards Muir. 
Wheels around on the right and gets it out wide towards de Blasio. Takes the mark. Gives the handball away quickly. Seddon gets back on the left. Long kick inside 50. Good kick too. Into the pocket. Manganelli. Can he keep it in? He can't. Addy comes across. Can uh, Manganelli on hands and knees. Gets it back up. They get it around. Groz gets it away. Again. Kick around the corner. Manganelli. And he kicks the goal. Got it. So Toby Manganelli kicks his first of the afternoon and the fourth for Inverlee. They go to 4 3 27. Lead Bell Post Hill 1 4 10. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard. 25 minutes played. I think he was a little bit lucky there, Manganelli. He had a chance to mark the footy. Sometimes it's very, very hard to mark the footy when you have a quick look over your shoulder at what's coming. He probably should have kept his eye on the footy, but he was lucky when it hit the ground and bounced back to him. And I just reckon 4 3 1 4. Invalid just, I would think, with this breeze. I think it, until then it was pretty even. That goal might just edge Invalid in front. What do you think, Alex? I think keep setting behind the ball. I know he's at full forward now on Addy, but it seemed pretty, to work for him the last 10 minutes. Pretty handy when you switch him and Hutchie between those two positions. <laughs> Definitely. Ball from Jones to Hutchison. There now you go. Through the middle of the ground he goes, kicks the ball to the half forward line. Mian over the back, can't take the ball. Mark picks the ball up, got boot the ball. Good Dribbles bump. it towards centre wing. Great bump. Mark was taken there by Hutchison. So Hutchison now wanting to move the ball quickly, looking at his options further afield. Nothing moving too much at the present time. Burke will be the target. He goes in that direction now. McNamara with him, spoiled from behind. Front of the contest. Manganelli's there. Coming through was Dalton Grundle. Couldn't pick it up. Kicked off the ground there by Muir. It's okay to Yates. Yates puts boot the ball. Out the back to Podner. Takes the mark. So Podner now with the ball. Goes quickly into the forward line, out in the lead. Page in front. Violet holds, says the umpire. Free kick going to Inverleet. Unbelievable decision. That's a contest between two blokes play on. So the ball from goes to Best now and into the middle of the ground. He goes to Muir. Muir gets the handball across to Grundle. Grundle runs through the centre of the ground. Kicks into the forward line. Coming out, setting good luck, good mark. And he will go back now from about side 60. What's the Loads up. The lark, it's a bird. He flew like a bird. Ball goes to the forward pocket. Milky Maze is down there. Tries to milk another one. Puts his head down. Umpire says throw it in in the forward pocket. <laughs> so 20 metres around from the behind post. Jones has pushed down. Merrick with him. Jones just taps it out the back. It was a nice bit of work. Grundle runs on to it. Can he pick it up? Needs some support. Looks at his options. Takes them on. Got the handball away. Went to Manganelli. Out wide to Burke. He's running through the contest. Let's boot the ball into the goal square. And it's going to be pushed through for a minor score to Inverleet. Which will move them on now to four goals four. And they lead Belpo still 1-4. 27 and a half minutes gone. Buckley's Entertainment Centre first quarter scoreboard. So Limer again kicks it in. Short to Addy in the back pocket. Takes the mark. Not Fantella short. Got McNamara a bit further afield. Goes in that direction. Yates is there as well. McNamara goes up. Can't take the mark. Off hands. Muir comes through. Pack develops at half forward. Free kick found. Umpire said. Going to be a in belief free kick. Now Seddon gets it. Handballed. He goes with a right foot kick into the pocket. Diving mark by Mays. No off hands. In fact, out of bounds on the full. So it will be a free kick. And Addy plays on quickly. Wastes no time. Switches the play to Costello on the opposite back pocket. Northern end of the ground. Goes to Limer at half back. You think they need one more before quarter time here, the Panthers. He chips the ball over the top. Mark taken. Urquhart it is from left half back goes towards centre wing. Jones puts the hands up for him. Belize handball out ball was okay. Meehan wheels around on that left. Good kick to Best. And there's the siren. Four quarter time. And it'll show Imbali. 4-4-28. They lead Bell Post Hill 1-4-10.